a highly skilled surgical team. Oh, perfect. Look. Okay. An experimental new procedure. I think this will revolutionize medicine if it works. So she doesn't have to hold Gotcha. It. Potentially improving everything from asthma to Lou Gehrig's disease. But starting in Ohio with one patient. We'll bring you back in a few and get you all settled and everything. Sound great? Kim Sellers has advanced multiple sclerosis. Prayed so much prior to getting here. My elbow like toward the ceiling. Just even to stop the disease in its tracks right now would be huge. Kim Sellers here for Tony Marshall. The popular Cleveland radio personality is risking everything to feel better after decades battling MS. With a smile on my face. I thought of my kids first. I thought of my parents. I thought about all the people that rely on me. I thought about myself. Kim's emotional journey is well documented. Diagnosed in the 90s, at first the symptoms were barely noticeable. By 2001, they were subtle, but there. And with each passing year, something seemed to change. <sighs> By 2009, the vibrant, hardworking mother of four began needing help, both on air and at home. What if it got worse? That had me hyperventilating. You know, the fear of the unknown. This treatment is still in the research phase and not yet FDA approved. It could be huge. Doctors Mark Foyetti and Michael Kellis feel so strongly about the technology. They co-founded the Stem Cell Center of Ohio in Beechwood, part of the National Cell Surgical Network. I mean, this is why we went into medicine. So here we go. Kim, the journey's begun. Four cc's. The outpatient procedure starts with liposuction. Kim, we're harvesting some great stuff here. It's hard to believe that there could be something good about body fat, but there's something extraordinarily good at this point about body fat. I've got 30 so far. You doing okay? I'm okay. The board certified plastic surgeon says fat is highly regenerative okay, so and rich our... in stem cells. And these are mesenchymal stem cells. Mesenchymal meaning they're able to change into whatever type of tissue they're attracted to. Like a rescue squad responding to an accident, he says the stem cells can find and repair damage in the body. And the stem cells aren't acting alone. They're harvested in a kind of biological soup called stromal vascular fraction, or SVF. There's endothelial progenitor cells. There are mast cells, T cells, B cells, macrophages. It is a wonderful mixture. The SVF is isolated through a series of steps, then moved to the cell counter. 94% viability. That is amazing. They say fat generally has 2,500 times more stem cells than bone marrow. They give Kim the great news. We have um, seven cc's. We have 39 million stem cells. And a girl. That's awesome. 39 million viable stem cells. That was amazing. I'm like, are you kidding me? It's like, where you been all my life? The SVF is now fed back into Kim through an IV. Here we go, girl. That part was a little emotional for me. Because, you know, you, you just want to pray that this is something that will improve your quality of life. The procedure takes only hours to complete, but then comes the hard part, waiting months to see if it worked. She may be able to live without pain. Uh, she may have um, a little mobility. And she was saying, Dad, she said, if, if I could only just get the use of my hands, if I can just use my hands, I can comb my hair, I can feed myself. You feel a little bit of pressure as it goes in. And there's reason for hope. Nationally, 80% of 1,000 SVF patients have seen improvement, from regaining vision to improved mobility. This is your own body helping to heal itself. Board certified in orthopedics and sports medicine, Dr. Kellis says SVF has perhaps the greatest potential in his field. Could this possibly rebuild a joint? We really don't know what the potential could be. Just like they can't predict Kim's outcome. I wish we could turn back time and treat her a year prior to this. Everyone's so into, oh my gosh, a cure. And that would be awesome, you know. But I, I'd like to take baby steps. Thank Sweetheart. you, Dr. Okay. Thank you.
tempered optimism from this incredibly brave woman who took one giant leap of faith for her future and countless others. The quality of life is what she's looking for and she can get that. I'm good. Just praying for the best. In Beechwood, Suzanne Stratford, Fox 8 News.